Hello beautiful. Uh, today I'm bringing you another unboxing uh, for a Noriko wig. Uh, this one is called Alva and the color is peach gold. Um, comes in the normal Noriko box. And as always, all of my wigs are sent to me from wigstudio1.com, so thank you very much. Not a lot of frills with the packaging. It is just the tissue paper and then the wig is just in there. Uh, there's no bobby pins. There is, uh, I believe, yeah, there's a little bit of a, like a form inside of it, but there's no, I don't think there is anyway. Yeah, there's no actual, um, oh, this is a cute color. There's there's no hairnet or anything like that. So it does come with something to keep the shape. So before we turn it, oh, that's cute. It is peachy. It's a peachy color. That's really cute. Um, before we put it on, uh, I want to show you the cap. So it is a basic cap construction. Um, there's literally no frills whatsoever except for maybe this one little line of felt right here that should feel like pretty good if you don't have a lot of hair up here. Um, but other than that, pretty basic cap construction. You have regular ear tabs. They are not open. They are uh, not felt covered. And then your nape is felt covered, but it's not extended. And you have bra strap adjusters that you just pull to adjust to your head. kind of like a, a bob kind of cut. Uh, hopefully, hopefully pretty dang cute. Um, let's talk about the color. So this color is called peach gold. And when I looked up the color description for that, it says that it is a warm light blonde blended with warm pink blonde. And I would say that is very accurate. This is definitely a warmer color. And as I get it closer, hopefully you guys can see a little bit of that pink that is running through here. Now this is a predominantly blonde wig. It is not predominantly pink, but it feels like there's, there's just a little bit, maybe on the top, you guys can see that more. Let me try to adjust that. It feels like there's, it looks like there's just a little bit of pink just running throughout it. So let me get the tags off of this and we'll put it on. All right, so before I put it on, I'm gonna give it a shake because there is quite a lot of permatease on the top and I really wanna loosen up the fibers there and make sure that none of the permatease is actually showing through uh, the wig. So just give that a good shake and then I'll comb it through. Now there does appear to be some kind of like silicone or something on the fibers of this wig. I don't know if it's coming up in camera, but Honestly, it kind of looks like when you haven't washed your hair in a few days, that kind of a, a texture. So I would definitely uh, wash this wig before I wore it out of the house. Uh, I'll go ahead and put it on for you guys, but definitely if you see any residue like that, it's probably just silicone to protect your fibers, uh, but it's just a good idea to, to give it a good wash. All right. So this is how she looks on me. It does have these cute little wispy bangs. I really, really like that. I would obviously have to trim them a little bit for myself, um, but not much. They are really close to being the right length for me. This is kind of a little punky of a hair of a haircut. I really kind of like it. It hits me in the right place, right here for a traditional bob. I'm not so sure about the color on me. I wish it had some rooting, to tell you the truth. Because when you don't have rooting, you can really see, sorry, I'm right up on my microphone. I'll talk a little quieter. You can really see the permatease through there when you don't have rooting. So I think that this would be a really, really, really good style for a throw on and go wig, but in a different color that has some rooting. 
That's such, it, it, it's honestly, it's a really, really cute style. I'm really, I'm really liking the style there. I had to play with it a little bit, but uh, the, the bangs here, I really am enjoying because most bangs are really, really long on me. I have a quite short forehead. These are hitting me in kind of an appropriate place. So I enjoy that. Let me go ahead and give you the measurements and then I will give you a 360. Okay, so the bang is 3.9 inches, which is a lot shorter than a lot of the wigs that I've reviewed. A lot of them are like five, six, even seven inches long. Um, and I would always <laughs> cut those, but these are actually rather short. So I can even side sweep them just right out of the box. Um, the crown is 9.4 inches. The nape is 3.9 inches. And that's it for the measurements that were given. So it's a 3.9 ounce uh, weight. And yeah, the color is warm light blonde blended with warm pink blonde. So peach gold, definitely warmer, not really cool at all. So very, very warm shade. All right, let me do a 360 for you guys and let you see what she looks like on all sides. <laughs> pick up Alva for yourself and any of the really pretty colors that they have um, or even any other wigs that come in this really pretty uh, peach gold color make sure you go over to wigstudio1.com um, and before you do check the description in my video here because if there are any coupon codes I'll make sure to list those for you and while you're online, head on over to our Facebook page. We have a support group called Wig Studio One, Wig and Topper Support Group. Uh, there you're gonna find myself and a ton of the ladies who work for Wig Studio One and then thousands of other women that are there to help support you through your hair loss journey. All right, until next time. Bye-bye, beautiful.